A pump is a device that is used to transfer and distribute different types of liquids or gases from one place to another by applying mechanical action. The two main purposes of pump are transfer of liquid from one place to another place. Example, water from an underground into a water storage tank. Circulate liquid around a system. Example, cooling water or lubricants through machines and equipments. Components of a pumping system. The components of a pumping system include pump casing and impellers, prime movers, electric motors, diesel engines or air system, piping used to carry the fluid, valves used to control the flow in the system, other fittings, control and instrumentation. Classifications of a pump. There exist a wide varieties of pumps that are designed for various specific applications. However, most of them can be broadly classified into two categories. They are dynamic pressure pump and positive displacement pump. Dynamic pressure pumps. In dynamic pressure pumps, during the pumping action, tangential force is imparted which accelerates the fluid normally by rotation of impellers. The impellers is held in the housing as it reduces the pressure at the inlet. This created motion drives the fluid outside the housing of the pump. Some systems which contain dynamic pump may require positive displacement pump for priming. They are normally used for moderate to high discharge rate. The pressure differential range for this type of pumps is in the range of low to moderate. They are popularly used in a system where low viscosity fluids are used. The dynamic pressure pump are divided into two types. 1. Centrifugal pump. 2. Special effect pump. Centrifugal pump. Centrifugal pumps are used to transfer fluids by converting rotational kinetic energy to hydrodynamic energy. They use a rotating impeller to increase the pressure of a fluid. The fluid enters the pump along or near to the rotating axis and is accelerated by the impellers. It flows radially outward into the pump diffuser or volute chamber from where it exits into the downstream piping system. These types of pump are of three types. Axial flow centrifugal pump, mixed flow centrifugal pump, peripheral centrifugal pump, axial flow centrifugal pump. An axial flow type of centrifugal pump is a common type of pump that consists of an axial impellers in a pipe. The propeller can be pushed directly into the pipe with the help of an electric motor or by a petrol diesel engine. Fluid particles do not change their radial locations during the flow through the pump because the change in radius at the suction and the discharge of the pump is very small. Thus, the fluid travels in a fairly straight path from the inlet pipe to the outlet pipe through the pump parallel to the impeller shaft. Mixed flow centrifugal pump. A mixed flow pump is a centrifugal pump including a mixed flow impeller. It is a combined version of both radial flow pumps and axial flow pumps. This pump is built with an impeller that sits and twists within the pipe, but the turning mechanism is essentially diagonal. When the liquid flows through the impeller, the blades send the liquid out away from the pump shaft at an angle larger than 90 degrees. Peripheral centrifugal pump. Peripheral pumps are a niche pump type with characteristics between centrifugal and positive displacement pumps. It is a closely coupled centrifugal pump, consisting of an impeller with a larger number of radial, varies at the outer edges to transfer fluid. As the impellers turns, the fluid velocity is increased in a circular path. This circular path provides the diffusion to transform the velocity to pressure. Therefore, the fluid flows from the covered channel to the impeller in a rotational path, and this cycle is repeated. Special effects pumps. This type of pump employ other effects than centrifugal pump, and they are further divided into eductor jet pump and electromagnetic pump. Jet pump. These types of pump are used to flow the fluid by a driving nozzle that converts the fluid pressure into a high-speed jet. It uses a jet, often steam, to produce a low pressure. The low pressure sucks fluid inside and moves it into a higher pressure region. Electromagnetic pump. An electromagnetic pump is a device that pushes liquid metal or any electrically conductive liquid, utilizing electromagnetism. In this, a magnetic field is set at right angles to the direction in which the liquid moves and the current flows. This creates an electromagnetic force that moves the conductive liquid. They are used to pump liquid metal through the cooling system. The second classification of pump is into positive displacement pumps. A positive displacement pump 
creates a fluid motion towards the discharge pipe by trapping a certain amount of fluid and forcing it. It uses reciprocating rotary or pneumatic motion to move the liquid through the pump. Here, the discharge of the fluid occurs in the form of pulses instead of a smooth liquid flow. Unlike centrifugal pumps, positive displacement pump can theoretically provide the same flow at a certain speed regardless of the discharge pressure. They are utilized based on their ability to work in high viscous fluid at high pressure. Based on the mechanism used to transfer the fluid, positive displacement pumps can be divided into rotary pumps and reciprocating pumps. Reciprocating pump. The pumping takes place by turn fro motion of the piston, plunges or diaphragm in the cylinder. It is often used where relatively small quantity of liquid is to be handled and where delivery pressure is quite large. That is, it uses the amount of liquid that is collected in an enclosed volume and is sent to discharge by applying pressure. The following are the main types of reciprocating pumps. 1. Piston pumps. 2. Plunger pumps. 3. Diaphragm pumps. Piston pumps. These are types of pumps where a high pressure seal is connected with a piston. The pump has a piston cylinder arrangement. As the piston goes away after the delivery stoke, low pressure is created in the cylinder, which open the suction valve on forward stoke. The fluid filled inside the cylinder is compressed, which in turn opens the delivery valve for the delivery of liquids. This operation is based on an oscillation mechanism in which down strokes fill the pump chamber and up strokes send the pump fluid out. This pumps can also deal with viscous media and media containing solid particles. Plunger pump. A plunger pump is a reciprocating pump in which there is a stationary high pressure seal and a smooth cylindrical plunger sliding through the seal. Plunger pumps use a plunger instead of the piston to move media through a cylindrical chamber. This distinguishes them from piston pumps and makes them suitable for higher pressures. They are operated by either steam-powered, pneumatic, hydraulic or electric drives. Plunger pumps are usually used to move municipal and industrial sewage. It uses a crank mechanism to create a reciprocating motion along an axle, which then creates pressure in the cylinder or working barrel to force the gas or fluid through the pump. Diaphragm pump uses a combination of the reciprocating action of a rubber, thermoplastic, or Teflon diaphragm and suitable non-return check valve to pump a fluid. Sometimes, this type of pump is also called a membrane pump. In this type, the diaphragm is filled with one side in the fluid to be pumped. As the volume of the chamber increases, the pressure decreases and fluid enters the chamber. When pressure of the chamber is increased by the subsequent reduced volume, the drawn fluid is drained out. The diaphragm moves up again, drawing fluid into the chamber and completing the cycle. The second classification of positive displacement pump is into rotary pumps. In rotary pumps, relative movement between rotating elements and the stationary element of the pump cause the pumping actions. Rotary pumps are designed so that a continuous seal is maintained between inlet and outlet ports by the action and position of pumping elements and close running clearances of the pump. Therefore, Rotary pumps do not require valve arrangements similar to reciprocating pump. The revolving gears forms a liquid seal with the pump casing and makes suction at the pump inlet. The fluid now drawn into the pump is locked within the teeth if it's rotating gears and transferred to the discharge. Rotary pumps is divided into the following main types. 1. Gear pump. Uses the meshing of gears to pump fluid by displacement. They are one of the most common types of pumps for hydraulic fluid power applications. As this gears rotate, they separate on the intake side of the pump, which creates a vacuum and suction area for the fluid. The spaces between the teeth traps the fluid and push it around the external periphery. The fluid does not return to the meshed part because the teeth are located closely in the center. Gear pumps are widely used in car engine oil pumps and different hydraulic power packs. 2. Screw pump. These types of pumps uses one or several screws to move the liquid along the screw axis. Typically, screw pumps have two or more intermeshing screws, rotating axially clockwise or anti-clockwise. For example, one screw rotates clockwise and the other anti-clockwise. The screws are installed on parallel shafts. The screws drive the fluid through the pump. Each screw thread is matched to carry a specific volume of fluid. Screw pumps provide a specific volume with each cycle 
and can be dependable in metering applications. 3. Lobe Pump Lobe pumps are similar to external gear pump in operations, in that fluid flow around the interior of the casing. As the lobes come out of the mesh, they create expanding volume on the inlet side of the pump. Liquid flows into the cavity and is trapped by the lobes as they rotate. Liquid travels around the interior of the casing, in the pockets between the lobes and the casing. Finally, the meshing of the lobes forces liquid through the outlet port under pressure. 4. Vein Pump A rotary vein pump is a positive displacement pump that consists of vein mounted to a rotor that rotates inside of a cavity. In some cases, the veins have variable lengths and the tension to keep contact with the walls as the pump rotates. The disadvantages of this type of pump is that they are being less used than other vacuum pump for fluids with high viscosity and high pressure as well as the complex operations. Specifications and energy source of pump. They are normally rated with volumetric flow rate, horsepower, opening pressure within meters of the head, inlet suctions of the head in meters. The energy source of pumps mainly include wind power, manual operations, electricity and engines.